guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video i'm going to show you how to solve paper three spreadsheet task okay of cambridge igcsc ict exam this is february march 2023 paper variant 31 okay so for this paper you have been supplied with the following source files okay you have you should have all of these files in your folder so we are going to examine our folder to ensure that we have all the source files. Okay, so these are the source files in our folder. Okay, create a new Word, um, a new Word process document. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Okay, I think I've opened a new Word document. Okay, so we are going to have our candidate details. So insert header, okay, choose the three colons, okay, and then have your name, the center number, and candidate number, okay? Save this document in your work area as M23 evidence, okay, followed by the center number, and candidate number, okay? Center number and candidate number, and you should be saved like this, okay? So file save as and save in your work area. Okay, save as what document and then cross the name. So center number and then candidate number and save okay that has been done okay task two which is the spreadsheet task the tawara cricket club records on a spreadsheet the number of runs scored by each player in each match that they played open and examine the file m23 button.csv in your spreadsheet software Okay, so we're going to open the file M23, but link. Okay, this file. Okay. You can close this. Okay, so this is the file. Okay, so let's check the data. Okay, we have data up to colon V. Okay, we have data up to colon V. Yes, up to colon V. And then up to row, up to row 34. Okay. Delete row 2. Delete row two. So this is row two. Just click here and then right click and then delete. Okay, insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet. Okay, insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet. Okay, right click, insert. Okay, insert. So we have a new row at the top of the spreadsheet. Okay, that's been done. Merge cells A1 to V1 and place the text Tawara Cricket Club. Okay. So I'm going to copy the text. And this is the text and then I'm going to Merge the cells. Okay, that is done. Merge cells A2 to V2. Okay, merge cells A2 to V2. A2 to V2. Okay, merge. Place in the footer right aligned the text spreadsheet edited by followed by a space, your name, center number, and candidate number. 
Okay. So we are going to place this text in the footer. Okay. Insert and then um, header and footer. Okay, just scroll down. Okay, this is the footer. So it has to be right aligned. Place the text, space, and then your candidate number, and then your center number. Okay, let's double confirm. Okay, followed by, okay, we need to have our name also, our name first. Okay, that's done. Then you can go back to the normal view. So if you want to know if that has been done, just go to File, Print, and then you should see that um, below your sheets, okay? Save this as spreadsheet with the file name M23 Cricket, okay? With your center number and candidate number, okay? Like this. So let's save the file. We're going to save the file in our work area, okay? As this name and then our center number and then candidate number. We change the file format to the format of the software you're using, okay? So I'm using Excel workbook, okay? And then save. Okay, this has been done. Format the spreadsheet to look like this, okay? So we are going to format our spreadsheet to look like this. Okay, so let's start with the first row. So the first row, it has um, okay, according to this question, format row one to have 36 point sans serif white text on a dark gray background. So the background is dark gray. Okay, the text is white and the font size is 36 and the font style is sans serif. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do first is change the font size. Okay, the font size to 36. Okay, the font style, sans serif. Okay, sans serif is Arial. Okay, so we're going to use Arial. Okay, and then the background color, okay, should be dark. Um, let's see. Let me double confirm. It should be. It should be dark gray, okay, dark gray. Okay, so it is gray, but it's dark. Okay, and then the text color is white. Okay, I believe this is what we need. Okay, I think we need to make it more darker. Okay, well, let's choose this. Okay, that is done. Okay, and it says row two have 18 points sans serif black text on a light gray background. Okay, 18 points, row two, area. Okay, 18 points. Okay, the background, okay, let's check, change the text to. The text is, let's see. Okay, the text is black, okay, and a gray background. Okay, gray background. Yes, yeah, something like this. Okay, so that has been done. Okay, so let's look at row three. If we look at row three, we'll see that the the text are text wrap, okay? So if you look at the text, you can see, okay, this row colon U and V is actually wrapped, okay? But I'm going to adjust, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to adjust, okay, I'm going to adjust this, 
Okay, and then I'm going to make this middle aligned. Okay, and then I'm going to adjust this to Okay, select and then I'm going to wrap text. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it and center aligned. Okay, I believe that's what it looks like. Number of matches played. Okay, number of matches played. Off is separate. Okay, adjust this. Okay, that's it. Um, let's see the alignment of the other text. Okay, all of these are aligned. Okay, so we can see that these are aligned, especially this. This is aligned center. Okay. So I'm just going to make this aligned center. Okay, center. And when you look at the, um, the text from A4 up to A31, you can see that it is right aligned and every other um, cells, okay, from B4 up to um, this side, okay, we can see that it is center aligned, okay? So I'm going to select this, okay, up to here, right aligned. Okay, and then this up to here also, 31. Okay, is it 31? Is center aligned. Okay, I believe we are done with the formatings. Okay. Place in cell U4. Okay, in cell U4, a function to count the number of matches played by this player. Let's look at cell U4. Okay, U4 is, this is cell U4. Okay, to count the number of matches played by this player. Replicate this formula for each player. Okay, so with this are the player names. So for each of the player, we need to count the number of matches. Okay, so to count, okay, we're going to use the count function, equal count. Okay, you can click on it. So from this cell up to, up to R, R4, okay? Up to R4, then you close the brackets. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to replicate the same formula for all. All we are just going to do is drag to 31. Okay, that's it. I believe it's up to 31, yes. Okay, so this has been done. Okay, next. Place in cell B33 and B34. Okay, let's examine cell B33. B33, this is B33. Okay, this is B33 and this is B34. Okay, so what do we need to do there? Okay, we need to place a function to display the highest and the lowest scores for this match. Replicate this for all matches, okay? So we are going to use the function max and minimum, mean. Okay, max is for maximum and mean is for minimum. So what we are going to do is equal max, okay, max from which range? Okay, from B4, okay, up to B31. Okay, you can type it or you can select it and then you close. Okay, that's it. Okay, and then for minimum, the lowest score, we also use the function mean. Okay, mean from B4 up to B31. 
31. Okay, and then you close the bracket. Okay, that's it. So we need to replicate this formula. So you just drag up to here. Okay, same thing for the minimum. Okay, you drag. Okay, up to here, I believe. Oh, okay, up to R. Okay, we need to drag up to R. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, that's done. Okay, so the next question says, place a re replicable formula in cell V4 to calculate the average score for this player rounded to one decimal. Okay, let's look at cell V4. Okay, cell V4. This is V4. Okay, we need to calculate the average score. However, we are given the formula to use. Okay, we are given the formula to use. So, average score equal total runs score, okay, over number of matches played minus not out, okay, minus not out. So, how can we do that? Okay, since we are going to round this to one decimal, I'm going to include the function round also. So this is how we are going to Okay, I just want to note that down. Total runs runs scored over none of match played minus not out. Okay? So cell V4 Also we're going to have the equal round, okay? Then, okay, so we need to sum the total of match played. Okay, so we're going to use the sum function. Okay, and then which cells are we adding together? So we're adding from cell B4 up to R4. Okay, up to R4. Okay, I'm just going to finish it up here because I cannot see. Okay, up to R4, then close the bracket, then divide. Okay, divide by what? So we are dividing by numbers of match played, okay, minus not out. Okay, so number of match played is in U4, okay? So we are going to have bracket. So you can check here for the formula as I'm typing. Bracket U4. Okay, this is U4. Okay, minus, minus not out, T4. Okay, T4. Then close bracket. And then I'm going to have comma 1. Okay, meaning that it should round up to the one, one decimal place. Then I will close the bracket. Okay, and then enter. Okay, I think we have an error. We found a typo in Android to correct. Let's see. Equals some B4 to R4. Open bra close bracket. Divide by U4 minus T4. Okay, comma. Yes. Okay. Now, the reason why we have U4 minus T4 in the bracket is, is so that it calculates U4 minus T4 first, okay, before dividing. If these two are not in the bracket, it can um, use U4 to divide before the sum of B4 and R, um, to R4. Okay. So that is done. Okay. So this has been done. And this this formula to make sure that cell contents are not displayed if this player has played fewer than five matches. Okay, if this player has played fewer than 
five matches. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, in the formula, I'm going to make use of the if function. Okay, so if okay, if u4, okay, if u4 is less than okay, less than five. Okay, what should be the criteria it should? Okay, it should show empty. Okay. And then I'm going to close the bracket. Okay, so that has been done. Replicate this formula for all players. Okay, we just need to drag. Okay. Okay, and drag up to 31, up to 31. Okay, so we can see there are some cells with no values, okay, because of the function that we have written, okay, the if function we have written. Okay, that has been done. Okay, save your spreadsheets and print your spreadsheet showing the formula okay we need to save just click here save now for our spreadsheet to show the formula all you just need to do is click on formulas and then show formulas okay show formulas okay we can see all the formulas are visible okay you can adjust this so that the formula is visible Ensure that all the formulas are visible, okay? So make sure that the role and column headings are displayed. The grid lines are displayed and the page orientation is landscape. Okay, the content of all cells are fully visible and can be easily read. Okay, so role and column settings displayed, grid line displayed and the orientation is landscape. So click on file and go to print. Okay, click on page setup. The orientation is landscape. Okay, the sheets, um, we want the grid line displayed and we want the role and column headings displayed. So, okay. Okay, so we have eight pages. Eight pages. Okay. Because it's not stated, um, the number of pages is not stated, so we can print that, okay? But in other ways, if you want to adjust, okay, you can always choose fit all columns to one page, okay? But that will be too small, okay? Fit all rows to one page, okay? I think this is much more better. Fit all rows to one page, okay? And then you can have three pages, which I think is much more better. Okay, that has been done. Okay, sort all the data for the players in the sending order of their average score. Those players who do not have an average score, an average score displayed must be at the bottom of the list. Okay, so we want to sort the data for the players in descending order of average score okay in descending order of average score so go back to the normal view okay click on show formula so that it goes back to the normal view okay so what we are going to do is we are going to select okay okay and then we go to um, data and then the sort. Okay, so we want to sort by um, that's colon V. Okay, colon V. So we are starting in descending order, if I'm not mistaken, descending order. So that is from largest to smallest, okay? Okay, and that has been sorted. And we 
So we can see that it has been sorted from largest to smallest. But we can see that the empty cells, okay, is at the top. And in the question, it says that those players who do not have an average score displayed must be at the bottom of the list. Okay, so what we are going to do is, so this is from up to row nine, okay, up to row nine. So I'm going to copy all the data up to row nine, okay. I'm going to copy and I will paste somewhere around the sheets. Okay. okay, then I will come to this up to row 31. Okay, cut, and then I will paste here. Okay, while the ones I copied before, okay. Okay, and then I will paste them here. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this has been done. Save your spreadsheet with a file name. Okay, we need to save our spreadsheet with this file name alongside our center number and candidate number. Okay, for example, like this. Okay, so let's save our file. File, save as, save in your work area. Okay, save it as this and then your center number, also your candidate number. Okay, and then save. Okay, print your spreadsheet showing the values. Okay, make sure that the roll and columns headings are not displayed, the grid lines are not displayed, the orientation is landscape, and the content of all cells are fully visible and can be easily read. Okay, to do that, go to File, and then Print. Okay, so our orientation is already in landscape, okay, but we don't want grid lines or the headings. Go to page setup, okay, sheet, and then uncheck the grid lines and the row, row and column headings. Okay. Okay, so we have four pages. Okay, you can print um, the four pages this way. Okay, or you can, I will advise you, you know, maybe use fit all rows to one page. Okay, I think this is much more better. You have two pages, two pages. And if you don't want scaling, you just choose no scaling and that's it. Okay, so this has been done. Do we have any other question? No. Okay, so that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.